Hello, welcome back to my channel, Caring London. Today we are at this beautiful building, National Gallery. This year is 2024, so it's it's been 200 years. National Gallery they got lots and lots of celebrations, activities, and in September they're gonna start a um, Vincent Van Gogh exhibition. So if you love his painting, don't forget to come and see it. And apart from Vincent uh, Van Gogh, there are some amazing, um, like beautiful paintings as well. So it's definitely a place for you to come and pay a visit. And behind me is Trafalgar Square. And um, yeah, so you can check these two places out. Now, if you have time, you obviously can spend the whole day here because the paintings are just amazing and there are loads and loads inside. But if you don't have time, my friend who works for the gallery and she gave me this picture show me the best way to go through national gallery in two hours if you don't have so much time i'm gonna show you this picture and i'm here with my mom today so we don't really have much time uh, i'm gonna just uh, follow her map and then see the most famous paintings now Follow me and let's see what's inside. 200 years birthday. And if you come here now, you can see one golf's exhibition. Tickets required, but I think um, if you're a big fan of one golf, this is definitely a place you should come. And this is my mom. <laughs> You walked in this room is central hall. And after the central hall, you will come to number twelve, the hall first, and the most famous one is the one on your right, from famous painting Raphael. Okay, so when you just walk in after the central hall, this is number 12 hall. And on your right is the very famous Raphael's painting, the portrait of the Pope. Very famous. I think you can spend like two or three days to go through all of the paintings. And apart from that is Christina, this Girl, this painting and the two ambassadors are the second and third famous painting in this room. Now let's move on. And then you come to number 11. There are two paintings from Raphael this one and this one. Okay, the third painting you have to you have to see is this Leonardo da Vinci. Um, this is the Virgin of the Rocks. I think he did two paintings. One is here in National Gallery, and the other one is in Paris Salon. So when you're in National Gallery, apart from those amazing paintings, I think if you look at the, the building itself with 200 years history, this building definitely worth a visit because it's so pretty. Okay, so number 41, this whole, the most famous painting is Monet, water lily, very, very famous. This painting used to be in... Tides Modern in London. Now this painting is here in National Gallery. And this painting, this beautiful house, is very, this beautiful horse is very, very famous. Um, yeah, it's in number 34. This is in Bambrant uh, on horse. It's a very, very big painting. This is probably the only portrait he ever painted in number 22. Okay, 
This is room 17A. The light. This room is very dark, and we can see this painting is the. This is the only surviving large-scale drawing by Leonardo da Vinci. Um, because this painting is highly sensitive to the damaging effects of the lights, that's why it's very dark. This room is David Hockney's exhibition. So in this room, we can see some of his uh, paintings. He's a very, very famous British painter who is still alive, 87 years old. So if you come here, you can see some of his work. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything I know about the paintings, the painters in National Gallery. And I've only know like only a little bit. <laughs> and then um, as we could see there, there is just so much to see. I obviously don't know every single one of them, um, but that's why I make this video. I hope that I could make you um, think this place is very interesting. And then you can come in person to look at those amazing paintings. Okay, I'm not gonna talk anymore um, for the rest of the video and you can just follow me and just have a walk around and see these amazing paintings. That's everything for today's visit, National Gallery. There are just so many amazing paintings. I can spend like the whole day, even two days there. Um, I enjoy looking at all the paintings. Obviously, some of the paintings I've never heard of and I don't know too much. But it's nice to look at it and learn a bit more. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And when you have time, don't forget to come here and see this beautiful gallery. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.